Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn subtract and check your answer by addition. As we are in class 5, we will be dealing with 6 digit numbers and we will be subtracting 5 digit, 4 digit and 3 digit numbers from a 6 digit number. We will also be subtracting 6 digit number from a 6 digit number and in each of the case, we will be checking if our answer is correct by addition. We know that addition and subtraction or mathematical operations are numbers. What is the formula to subtract and check your answer by addition? Difference plus smaller number will give you the greater number. Difference is the answer that you get by subtraction. When you add that with the smaller number, you get the greater number. Let us see how we are going to do this with the help of several examples. Subtract and check 5,63,788 minus 72,833. Here we are going to subtract a 5 digit number from a 6 digit number. First, write down the bigger number and it is always a good practice to write down the place values so that you can write down the smaller number in its correct places. Write down the place values and now write down the smaller number and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 3 in ones place will give you 5. Next move on to the tens place where you have 8 minus 3 which will give you 5. Now move to the hundreds place where you have 7 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 7. So what do you do? You move to the thousands place for borrowing. You have three thousands which when regrouped becomes two thousands plus one thousand or ten hundreds. When you give that ten hundreds to the hundreds place, seven hundred becomes seventeen hundreds. Now seventeen minus eight in the hundreds place will give you nine. Next move to the thousands place where you have two minus two which will give you zero. Now coming to the ten thousands place, it is 6 minus 7. Here we know that 7 is greater than 6. So we have to borrow from the lakhs place. In lakhs place you have 5 lakhs. Which when regrouped becomes 4 lakhs plus 1 lakh or 10 ten thousands. So when you give the 10 ten thousands to the ten thousands place. In ten thousands place now you will have 6 plus 10, 16 ten thousands. Now you can subtract 16 minus 7 which will give you 9 in the 10 thousands place and in the lakhs place you can just take and write down the 4 lakh. So what is the answer? Subtraction of these two numbers gives you the answer 4 lakh 90,955. Now the next step is to verify the answer. What do you do? You add the difference that you get with the smaller number which is 72,833. So write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 5 plus 3 will give you 8. Next in tens place it is 5 plus 3 which is 8. In hundreds place 9 plus 8 is 17. So 7 is retained in the hundreds place and 1 is taken as a carryover to the digits in the thousands place. Now add the digits in the thousands place 1 plus 0 plus 2 which will give you 3. Now come to the 10 thousands place where you have 9 plus 7 which will give you 16. So retain the 6 in the 10 thousands place and take the 1 as a carry over to the lakhs place. In lakhs place it is 1 plus 4 which will give you 5. So what is the answer that you are getting? 5,63,788 which is the bigger number from which you began the subtraction. So your subtraction that you perform is correct and we have verified the same through addition. Hope you have understood how we are doing this. Let us do many more examples to make this concept very clear. Next we are going to subtract 7,49,352 minus 4,167. So here we are going to subtract a 4 digit number from a 6 digit number. So write down the bigger number and its place values so that you can write down the smaller number at its correct place. Now begin the subtraction from the ones place. 2 minus 7. We know that 7 is greater than 2. So move to the tens place 
and you have to borrow from the tens place. In tens place, you have five tens, which can be regrouped as four tens plus one ten or ten ones. So when the ten ones comes to the ones place, two ones will become twelve ones. When you subtract twelve minus seven in ones place, now you will get five. Now coming to the tens place, it is four minus six. Six is greater than four. So now we have to borrow from the hundreds place. In hundreds place, you have three hundreds. When you regroup three hundreds, it becomes two hundreds plus one hundred or ten tens. So the ten tens will be given to the tens place now. So in tens place, it will become four plus ten, fourteen tens. You can subtract fourteen minus six easily, which will give you eight in the tens place. Next, come to the hundreds place. It is two minus one, which will give you one. In thousands place, nine minus four will give you five. In ten thousands place, you can take and write down the four just like that. And in the lakhs place also, you can take and write down the seven just like that. So, what is the subtraction of the two numbers? Give you seven lakh forty-five thousand one hundred eighty-five. Now we'll have to verify if this answer is correct. How do you do? Add this answer with the smaller number. Four thousand one hundred sixty-seven. As you shall write on the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. Five plus seven will give you twelve. So retain the two in the ones place and take the one as a carryover to the digits in the tens place. One plus eight is nine, and nine plus six is fifteen. So retain the five in the tens place and take the one as a carryover to the digits in the hundreds place. One plus one plus one in the hundreds place will give you three. Next, coming to the thousands place, it is five plus four, which will give you nine. Next, coming to the ten thousands place and lakhs place, you can just take and write down the numbers as such because you do not have any digits to be added. So, what is the answer that you are getting? Seven lakh forty-nine thousand three hundred fifty-two, which is the bigger number from which you began the subtraction. So, your subtraction that you have performed is correct. And you verified the answer with the help of addition. Let us do the next sum. Subtract and check two lakh minus nine hundred ninety-nine. So here we are going to subtract a three-digit number from a six-digit number. Write down the numbers and their place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place, we see zero minus nine. We know that nine is greater than zero. Next, you move to the tens place. Here again, you have zero minus nine. And in hundreds place, it is zero minus nine, so you cannot borrow from these digits. Next, you move to the thousands place and ten thousands place, where also you have only zeros. So now you move to the lakhs place directly for borrowing. In lakhs place, you have two lakhs, which when regrouped becomes one lakh plus one lakh. One lakh is nothing but ten ten thousand. So in ten thousands place now you will have ten ten thousands. This again has to be regrouped. Ten ten thousands can be regrouped as nine ten thousand plus one ten thousand or ten thousands. So now in thousands place you have ten thousands. This ten thousands has to be regrouped again. So you will get nine thousands plus one thousand or ten hundreds. So now in hundreds place you have ten hundreds which has to be regrouped again. So when you regroup ten hundreds, it becomes nine hundreds plus one hundred or ten tens. And this ten ten has to be regrouped again. So you will have nine tens plus ten ones. So now you can subtract ten minus nine in the ones place, which will give you one. In tens place you will have nine minus nine, which is zero. And in hundreds place it is nine minus nine zero again. In thousands, ten thousands, and lakhs place you can just take and write down the number just like that. So what is the answer that you get? One lakh ninety nine thousand and one. To verify this subtraction is correct, we have to add this answer with the smaller number. So write down the numbers and their place values and begin the addition from the ones place. In ones place you have one plus nine. Which is ten. So zero is retained in the ones place, and one is taken as a carryover to the tens place. So one plus zero plus nine in the tens place will give you ten. So retain the zero in the tens place, and take the one as a carryover to the digits in the 
hundreds place. So add the digits in the hundreds place. 1 plus 0 plus 9 which will give you 10. So 0 in the hundreds place and 1 as a carryover to the thousands place. 1 plus 9 is 10. 0 in the thousands place and 1 as a carryover to the ten thousands place. 1 plus 9 in the ten thousands place will give you 10. So 0 in the ten thousands place and 1 as a carryover to the digits in the lakhs place. So 1 plus 1 in the lakhs place will give you 2. So the answer that you get when you add 1,99,001 plus 999 is 2 lakh which is a bigger number from which you began your subtraction. The next sum that we are going to do is subtracting two six digit numbers and then we are going to verify the answer. So now write down the numbers one below the other and write down their place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 4 minus 2 in ones place is 2. In tens place 4 minus 0 is 4. In hundreds place 4 minus 4 is 0. In thousands place 2 minus 0 is 2. In ten thousands place 6 minus 4 is 2. And in lakhs place 6 minus 6 is 0. So what is the answer that you get when you subtract these two six digit numbers? 22,042. So what you have to do now is add this answer to the smaller number and find out if the subtraction that you have done is correct. So here the smaller number is 6,40,402 to which you are going to add the answer 22,042. So write down the numbers in their correct places based on their place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 2 plus 2 in ones place is 4. In tens place 0 plus 4 is 4. In hundreds place 4 plus 0 is 4. In thousands place 0 plus 2 is 2. In ten thousands place 4 plus 2 is 6. And in lakhs place we just take and write down the number 6. So what is the answer that you get? 6,62,444 which is the bigger number from which you began the subtraction. The next thing that we are going to see is subtract and check 7 lakhs minus 1,23,456. Both of these are 6 digit numbers so write them one below the other and write down their place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. You will see that in the bigger number from ones to ten thousands place you have only zeros. So you cannot borrow till the ten thousands place so you move to the lakhs place for borrowing. In lakhs place you have 7 lakhs which when regrouped becomes 6 lakhs plus 10 ten thousands. Now this 10 ten thousand has to be regrouped so it will become 9 ten thousands plus 10 thousands. Now again this 10 thousands has to be regrouped so it will become 9 thousands and 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds has to be regrouped again so it will become 9 hundreds and 10 tens. 10 tens has to be regrouped again so it will become 9 tens and 10 ones. So now we can subtract from the ones place 10 minus 6 which will give you 4. 9 minus 5 in the tens place will give you 4. 9 minus 4 in the hundreds place will give you 5. In thousands place 9 minus 3 is 6. In ten thousands place 9 minus 2 is 7. And in the lakhs place 6 minus 1 is 5. So the answer is 5,76,000. 544. To check by addition, now we are going to add this answer that we got 5,76,544 with the smaller number 1,23,456. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 4 plus 6 in the ones place will give you 10. 0 carry over 1. 1 plus 4 plus 5 in the tens place will give you 10. 0 carry over 1. And in hundreds place, 1 plus 5 plus 4 will give you 10 again. So 0 carry over 1. In thousands place, 1 plus 6 plus 3 again will give you 10. 0 carry over 1. And in ten thousands place, 1 plus 7 plus 2 will give you 10 again. So 0 carry over 1. And in the lakhs place, it will be 1 plus 5 plus 1 which will give you 7. So you get 7 lakh as the answer which is a bigger number. So the subtraction that you have performed is perfectly correct. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class find the topic subtraction of which we have covered the first two topics in separate videos. In my upcoming videos, I will be covering each of these topics in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. Give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications. See you again.